hello everyone welcome again to another video how are you doing today so this is the pearl beaded bag i want to show you how to make today look at the details on the handle look at how beautiful it looks like and this bag is the most requested bag everybody wants to know how to make and i want to show you all how to make it let's get started with this weave i'm going to be using a quick right angle weave to make the units and my bead size in front of me 8 mm and 16 mm pearl we are going to start with four bead so i'll be stringing all these four bead on the line like this okay i put all four bead on the line then i'm going to hold this last one and cross with my right line and pull down and now on each line again i'm going to add one one bead on each line like this then we are going to cross both ends of my line into the third one and pull down like this cross into the third one pull down so now we are going to make another one again this is two we made two flowers right here when you see this is two and on each line again my left and right line i'm adding one bead on each line like this okay then i'm going to cross both ends of my line the right and the left line into the third one and pull down you cross like this into the third bead cross like this pull down now we have three one two three okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to put two ends together like this this is how it it's looking like so this end to this end I'm going to hold the ends together like this okay we are going to start our cubic right angle weave now on it this line I'm going to add one bead to my right line I'm going to put my right line into this bead okay the edge bead over here that's where I pull my line through and this is how it's looking like if you see we have all sizes the squares we have square 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 over here all right now we have to close the square and start our weaving now both lines like this I'm going to take one bead and cross both ends of my line into it and pull down hold the lines together and pull down like this now this is how the cubic is looking like this is how it's looking like now we are going to start our weaving and build on this so this four we are going to continue our weave on this four this four on the top that is where we are going to continue our weave so i add three bead to my left line i cross with my right line and pull down now I'm going to pull my right line again into the next bead. Pull through the next bead. Now on my left line, I add two bead. Cross with the right line and pull down. Again, I'm going to pull my line again into the next bead. Pull through the next bead. We are just building on this four. So my left line, I add two bead. I cross with my right line and pull down. Now this is how it's looking like. I'm going to put my right line into the last bead and the one on the side over here. Pull through this bead. This is the last four. And I'm going to pull through this on the side. And now you have something like this. So I'm going to take one bead like this and cross both ends of my line into it. Pull down. And this is how we are going to start to build on this. So my left line, I start with three bead. Again, we are going to work with, we are going to build on the four bead, okay? So I cross with my right line and pull down. 
let me show you we are going to work with this four bead okay we are going to build on it like how we did so into the next bead I put my right line to the next bead I add two bead to my left line I cross with my right line pull down now my right line into the next bead I add two bead to my left line like this then I'm going to cross again with my right line and pull down so now we are going to go to the middle and this one we go to the last bead this is the last four I'm pulling my line through and this bead on the side I'm going to pull it through this one on the side This is how it's looking like this is how it should look like okay so now I'm going to take one bead cross both ends of my line into it and pull down now we are going to continue again we are going to continue and build on this four so on my left line I start with three bead cross with the right line and pull down now my right line again into the next bead remember we are working with the top four bead okay the four bead i add two bead to my left line i cross with my right line and pull down into the next bead two bead add two bead to my left line now i'm going to pull again into the last four this one and this on the side pull through the one on the side and add one bead to complete that step i add one bead pull down complete the step we are going to continue again with the left line we are going to work again build on the four okay so now on my left line i add three bits to my left line cross and pull down i'm going to pull again into the next bead pull through the next bead and add two bead to my left line and now cross with my right line and pull it down i'm going to go through the next bead pull through the next bead and my left line I add two bead and now I'm going to pull through the middle and the side bead pull through the last four and this bead on the side and now I take one bead cross both ends of my line and pull down this is how it's looking like okay and this is how you make your pubic right angle width. This is how you start and build on it. So one, two, three, four, five. We work five steps, okay? Now I'm going to build one more. Then we are going to continue with what to do with it. So I'm going through the next bead. Add two bead into the next bead. Two bead to the left line. Cross and pull down into the last bead and the one on the side cross to the last bead and this one on the side so this is how our weave is looking like okay this is how it's looking like and we are going to complete this one with one bead take one bead and cross both ends of my line into it and now pull it down like how we are doing this is how it's looking like now we made six of it this is a set six step one two three four five six so we are going to continue to make ten okay so i'm going to build on this one and make ten i'll make ten steps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now i'm going to complete the last one so my right line into the next bead and the one on the side and i'm going to complete this one with only one bead okay it's looking like this let's complete it with one bead 
across and pull down now I completed the first one so now we are going to continue to build on this one you see this bead that is where my line is okay so we are going to work with this four bead one two three four one two three four this four bead over here that's what we are going to build on we are going to build forward okay now I'm going to start again on my left line I add three bead to my left line then I cross with my right line and pull down now into the next with my right line into the next bead remember we are working with the four bead over here okay so I pull through the next bead and I'm going to add two bead this is where my line is okay I add two bead to my left line like this I cross with my right line and pull down now my right line again into the next bead pull through this is the third one okay now I add two bead to my left line I cross with my right line and pull down my right line again into the last bead this is the last four this one and we go to the side one okay as usual like how we are weaving okay we are doing the same over here too I pull through the side bead now I add only one bead to my line to complete this step okay now again I add three bead to my left line we are going to build on the four up cross with the right line and pull down now into the next bead we are working with the four bead okay we are building on that one too so I'm pulling into the next bead and I add two bead to my left line I cross with my right line and pull down now into the next bead again then I add two bead to my left line cross and pull I'm going to pull through the last bead and the one on the side that is how we are going to continue to build on this one to make 10 steps okay over here too we are going to make 10 steps like this this is how it's looking like this is how the weave is looking now we are going to continue to build on it 10 okay we are going to count from this corner one this is where your one start two three okay even though we start from here you don't count from there you count from the corner here one two three ten okay then you make ten and this is how it's looking like very beautiful already so we're going to continue to build on this one continue to count from the corner and make ten and this is how it's looking like we are going to continue this way we make 10 10 we are going to continue to make another 10 on this side so we are going to build on this four forward again this four that is where we are going to build on now one we start from the corner one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay we start from the corner and now we are going to start again and build on this four forward so again I'm going to start with three bead I add three bead to my left line I cross with my right line and pull down I'm going to pull my line again into the next bead remember we are working with this four bead over here okay so I pull through the next bead and I add two bead to my left line cross and pull down into the next I add two bead to my left line I cross and pull into the next two I'm going to pull through the last four this one and the one on the side this one on the side I need only one bead to complete this step again I start with three bead we are going to build on this one 
until we make 10 steps okay into the next bead I add two bead to my line cross and pull right line into the next bead I add two bead to my left line I cross with my right line and pull down now I'm going to into the last and the one on the side I pull through the last bead and this on the side now I take one bead cross both ends of my line into it and pull down I start again with three pull into the next we are building on this four high I add two bead to my left line cross with the right line and pull down into the next bead add two bead now I'm pulling through the last bead and this on the side okay over here because my line is short I'm just going to tie over here and I'll show you how you add a new line to your weave okay so now I'm going to hold this loose ones whip it a little bit back into the bead make sure it's well secured enough before I trim it off now this is a new line that I get I'm going to pull through any of this bead okay any of the four beads so I'm pulling through this one and that I'll continue so I add three bead to my left line cross and pull It's so that easy okay just easy to add a new line so if your line is short you know what to do into the next bead I add two bead to my left line I cross with my right line and pull down and this is how our weave is looking like now we have to continue so let me show you how to make this is 10 10 10 okay remember to count from the corner okay so now we are going to build this way on this four we are going to build to meet this one okay so now my line is up here and I want it to come to the right bit before I continue what I'm going to do I'm just going to weave around into this bead okay go to the next and cross into this one like this then I'm going to hold the other one and pull through the bead over here now I position my line to continue my weave okay we are going to continue on this four bead and weave to meet the other side we are going to continue and make eight only eight so this is one okay remember you count from the corner I add three bead to my line into the next bead I add two bead to my left line into the next bead again the same weave that we are continuing over here nothing different okay I'm going to pull through the middle bead right here that's the last four and the one on the side I cross into the last bead and pull down now this is how it's looking like okay let me show you how to count we are going to continue one two three four five six seven eight so we are going to make eight steps over here only eight steps one two three four five six seven eight if you count that's eight and we are going to join it to this one okay now let me show you how we'll join it this is four this is four right here and this one to four so we are going to align it well and continue so I add one bead to my line I'm going to hold it like this this is one bead I add to my line then I'm going to go through this one I'm going to go through the next bead on this piece right here like this we are pulling it together joining both pieces together okay so I take one bead cross both ends of my line into it and pull down cross and pull down now the next bit the very top two bead over there this one into this and my left line into the next bit this one into this bead okay so the top bead right here pull my right line through it and this one on this side the left line 
Now I'm taking one bead and cross my line into it and pull. So the next bead, the very next bead, okay? I pull my left line through it and on the other piece, I pull through the next bead. Now I take one bead, cross and pull down. And that is how you join the pieces, okay? And this is what we have. We have one unit done like this. We are going to continue to weave the rest of these loose lines into the bead. Make sure it's well secured. I'm going to weave the rest into the bead, okay? And trim it off. And now we are done with our unit. This one is done like this. This is how it's looking like. We are going to continue to make five of these. So I already made four. This is four and I'll be making the last five. Okay, we need five of these units to put together. And here is my five. I'm done making all the five. This is how they are looking like. Very beautiful, very nice and well woven. Very firm. So now we are going to take one and use for the base. So before we make the bag, we have to complete the base, okay? We have to fill out the base. Make sure the base is covered so nothing falls from the bag. So we are going to complete here. In these two beads, I'm going to pull my line. These two beads, okay? I'm going to pull through these two beads like this. And now these two beads, that is where my line is, okay? Now I'm going to add two beads to my left line. Two bead. Add it to the left line and cross the last one with the right line and pull down. To pull my right line, my right line into the next bead, this bead. Go through the next bead. On my left line, I add two beads to my left line. I cross with my right line and pull. Now I'm going to pull my right line again into the next bead. So I'm pulling my right line through the edge bead and I'm adding two two beads to my left line. Okay? I add two beads to my left line. Now my right line into the next bead again. Okay? Now I add two beads to my left line, cross with the right line and pull into the next bead. To the next bead. I add two beads to my left line, I cross with my right line and pull down. So now I'm going to pull again into the next bead. Okay, this is my right line, I'm pulling through the next bead. Then my left line, I add two beads to it. Cross with the right line and pull into the next bead. I add two beads to my left line. Cross and pull down. Now I'm going to go through the last bead and this one, okay, this one. And this one on this piece. I pull through this one. Now I'm going to cross over into the top bead over here and pull. So I'm going to take one bead, cross both ends of my line into it and pull. Like this. Now my right line again into the next bead. Go to the next bead and add two bead to my left line. I cross and pull down. Now we are going backwards. So I'm adding to my left line, cross with the right line and pull. The same way we weave forward, the same we are going to weave backwards. Okay, it's the same way. Add two bead. To the left line 
across and pull down into the next V and I add two bead to the left line into the next add two bead go through the next bead add two bead into the next two bead now I'm going to put through this one and this over here this two bead put my line through this two bead over here and I need one bead to complete this row like this so now my left line into the next bead I'm pulling my left line through this bead and the same line I add two bead to it. Okay, the same left line. This is my left line. I add two bead to it. I cross with my right line and pull into the next bead. I pull my line through the next bead and I add two bead to my left line. Cross and pull down. I'm going to pull through the next bead again okay so this time all the edge bead we are going to pull our line through and add two two bead to our left line I pull through the next bead and I add two bead to my left line cross and pull into the next two bead please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also Make sure you turn on your notifications for new video that I'll be uploading so you don't miss on any, okay? Thank you. So let's continue. I'm pulling through the next bead. I add two bead to my left line. Now I'm pulling through this two bead over here. Okay, this and this one. That's why we are going to start another row. Pulling through this bead. And now I'm going to complete this row with one bead. And to complete this row with one bead, take one bead, cross, and pull down. Now I'm going to pull through the next bead. I'm pulling my right line into the next bead at the top over here and I add two bead to my left line into the next bead I add two bead cross and pull next two bead to the left line cross with the right line and pull into the next bead until you complete okay so we are going to go through all the edge bead and add two two bead to it so this is what we are going to continue until we complete and fill up the whole square okay this is our base for the bag and we have to close the base so now I'm pulling through this bead I need only one bead to complete this row this is how it's looking like okay we are going to continue until we fill up the whole space okay now we are on the last one I'm on the last one here I'm going to go through these two bead I'm pulling through this one and the one on the side the edge over here but now we need only one bead to cross and pull down now I'm pulling my right line into the next bead and I'm going to hold my left line, go through this bead, the next bead, okay, on this side. So all this bead, we are going to pull our line through, one by one. Cross with your right line and pull down. Now I'm going to pull my right line through here and my left, I pull through the opposite side. I take one bead, cross both ends of my line, pull down. 
right line into the next bead left into the next on the opposite side take one bead cross both ends of your line pull down into the next two bead that is how we are going to repeat until we fill up the whole space and complete our base this bead pull take one bead cross and pull down now this is the last space we are going to fill with one bead so I pull through the last bead this one on the opposite I take one bead cross both ends of my line and pull down now we are done with our base the rest of the line I'm going to weave it back into the bead a little bit longer and then trim it off that way I know my line is secured enough and it will not unravel okay before I trim it off I'm going to weave a little bit longer into it make sure the lines are secured okay very very important before you trim the lines off okay and this is what we have this is how it's looking like very pretty very solid weave very beautiful and now we are going to put the units together to make a bag and I'm going to use my 16 millimeter pearls here to join these units together so I have my ply over here to pull out any stuck line sometimes the lines stuck in between I'm going to use it to pull out the lines okay now I'm going to ignore the first bead over here and go through the second third bead like this. Now I'm going to my right line, I'm going to add one system on the line like this. So now I'm going to pull my line through the second piece again. I'm going to ignore this one and go through the second and third. Ignore the first bead, pull your line through the second and the third bead, like this. Alright. So now, I'm going to take one bead, cross my lines into it, cross, and pull down. Okay. Taking my time over here, right, like this. Now, my right line into the next two, my left into the next two. Pull through the next two, and here's my left. I pull through the next two bead, okay. Pull and pull the lines tight. Pull it very tight. Pull tight to pull the beads together, okay? So you don't have a loose work. Now I take one system again and cross both ends of my line into it and pull down. The beginning is, is a little hard, it's gonna be very weak, but make sure you pull the lines together, okay? Now it's stable. Into the next two on the right side and the next two on the left side so I'm going to pull here into pull my right line into the two bead here and I'm going to hold my left line into the next two all right pull through the next two bead I pull through one and one more to go sometimes the lines get stuck in between the beads and you have to pull it out with something pointy okay so use a chapstick use something that you can use to pull out your thread I take one system and cross both ends of my line into it and pull down like this pull down now I'm going to pull into the next two on the right side and on the left side I pull through two now I take one bead and I cross both ends of my line into it and pull down 
So now in the corner, we are going to go through two beads, okay? Go through the first, and this is the second. So now put through two beads on the side. Now we are going to do the same. Take one sixteen, cross, and pull. On the right side, I'm going to pull my right line into two bead and do the same to this side. Into two bead, I pull my line. Now I take one bead, cross both ends of my line, cross and pull down. Now pull through into two bead. I'm going to pull the left into two bead. I'm pulling my light right line into the next two bead. You don't have to pull through two bead at a time, okay? You can do one bead at a time, pull it through one, and go into the second one. Now I take my 16 millimeter and cross both ends of my line into it and pull down. And this is how the weave is looking like. This is what we are going to continue to do until we complete, until we complete stacking the units together. I'm pulling my line through to be. This is how it's looking like. I'm going to add my 16 here. Then I'll continue into the other side. So this is what I'll be repeating on this stage. I'm just going to go ahead and complete this one and I'll come back and meet you here. So I'll weave the rest of camera. This is how it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and complete. And now I am done with this one. Look at the base. Very, very beautiful. Okay. I complete this one. I'm always done. I need one bit to put over here and then we are done with this. So I take my 16 millimeter and I'm going to tie over here the first unit. I'm just going to tie here and weave the rest of my line into the bead and trim it off. I'm going to put this line back into my 16 like this onto the other side. This is how the line is. And now I'm going to weave into the bead, make sure it's secured, and this one onto this side, okay? Just weave it back a little bit into the bead before I trim it off. Like this, with the rest, okay? Now, this is what we have, and now we are going to stack the other one on it. We are going to add another unit to this one. We are going to start like how we did for the first one. Ignore the first one, pull the line through the second and the third bead. Alright, so I'm pulling through the second and the third bead. Like this. Now, my right line, I'm going to pull one sixteen millimeter on my right line. I put this bead on it into two bead okay so first I'm going to add this 16 onto my line then into this to be ignore the first and go through second and the third so pull through the second and the third bead like this hold both ends of the line and pull all right now I take another bead Cross your line into it and pull down. So now my right line into the next two, my left into the next two. The same way we did for the first one, we are going to repeat here. So I pull my line into two bead. This side into two bead that's on the opposite side I take one bead cross and pull down like this so we are going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead complete this one 
and now meet you back here it's a very simple whip everybody can do it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notifications for any new videos that i'll be uploading so you don't miss on any thank you so i'm pulling through the next two bead okay next two bead on this side and on the left side i'm going to pull through two bead again so this is the same thing we'll be repeating on this side i'm going to continue go ahead and stack all these units together I'm just going to go ahead and whip the rest a little bit, then I'll do the rest of camera. Remember to pull through two bead. This is all we repeat all round until we complete okay this is how it's looking like i'm going to complete the rest of camera and i'll meet you back here i'm going to complete the rest of camera this is how it's looking like very pretty and beautiful and look at what we have it's complete and this is how the weave is looking like and we from here we will start the rest of the units on it to make it long and make it a bag okay so for this line i'm just going to tie over here like how we did for the first one i'm going to tie then i'm going to pull the line through my system to the other side then i weave the rest back into the bead and this is how it's looking like very beautiful bag already it's a very solid weave this is strong this bag is very strong okay and this is the inside very big we are going to make it long and add the rest of the units to it and i'll meet you back here take a look at it very beautiful so this is what we have now i am done stacking it together and this is how it's looking like very beautiful very very beautiful so let me show you how this is the inside of it this is the side it's very strong very solid this is a very solid bag very very strong so if you are stacking your bead make sure you pull the lines very tight and strong okay now let's put a handle on this i'm going to use these two bead i'm going to count four and this side four now we have two bead in the middle that is what i'm going to use for the handle okay so now i'm going to pull my line through this two bead pull line through this two bead so before i start stringing my bead on it i'm going to add eight millimeter on each side of the line i put eight i add eight on the right side and the left side okay like this now i'm going to start stringing my 16 millimeter bead on it i'm going to start stringing the 16 okay put the 16 on it so on each side of the line i'm going to add about 15 okay 15 of the 16 millimeter that's what i'm going to add to it So you count both lines should take the same count of bead okay if you want to do more you can add more but both side of the line should count the same okay now at the end i'm going to add another eight millimeter on each side of my line add eight on the right and add eight on the left okay like how we started so now i'm going to pull through the two bead on the other side like this this is how it's looking like I'm going to pull through the two bead 
one on this side and one on this side okay the other side and this is how it's looking like I'm pulling through the two bead pull and pull tight okay pull and pull tight now I'm going to hold both lines and tie over here in the middle I'm going to pull pull and tie pull the line pull it tight and tie okay you can do only one handle you don't necessarily have to do two but I'm, I'm I just decide to do two on it so the rest of the line I'm not going to trim it off okay I'm just going to hold it and weave it back into the handle to reinforce the handle to, to reinforce the line okay into the handle so I'm going to pull it through under this bead over here so I can hide the knot I'm going to pull it through here into the next eight and into all the the 16 millimeter okay I'm going to do the same on this side go to the eight I'm into the eight and weave back through all this bead okay to reinforce the line this is all I'll be doing the same do it to both of them This is how it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and then complete this one and I'll be, meet you back here. So now, I want to teach you how we can make a little design on this. I want to put the two handles together, okay? I'm going to put it together. So I'm tying my line under this 8 millimeter over here, okay? Tie under this 8 millimeter like this so the tip of the line i'm moving it back into the bead a little bit before i trim it off now i'm going to hold my line and come up into the eight millimeter this one like how i'm doing over here pull through this bead okay this eight millimeter over here pull pull through it and into the 16 just a little design for our handle. I'm going to pull my line through the 16. So now I'm going to add 8 millimeter onto my line and pull it through this one. I'm going to pull through this. Pull. All right, pull like this. Now, we are going to add another eight onto our line. Then we go through the next bead on the other on the other side, okay? Like this on the opposite side, pull through the bead. Pull your line so the bead can land in the middle, okay? Now, I'm going to add another eight just add one bead on the line pull through the next bead on the opposite come through this one pull make sure you are pulling the lines too very tight okay pull it tight nice and neat pull 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 your line now I add one bead again on my line go to the next bead on the opposite this one pull through it's just a simple design so we can put these two handles together you can leave it as you can leave it if you don't want to do this side this is just an optional but it makes the bag look beautiful okay that's why I'm doing it you don't have to you can make one handle so you don't have to make two so I add one bead to my line then I'm going to pass it through this one okay it's just going zigzag zigzag okay this 
is how it's looking like. It's just a simple but beautiful design. This one, I'm going to pull my line through. And pull your line tight. Continue to pull it tight so you can join both together. This is how it's looking like. Very, very beautiful. And I'm going to continue to make the rest. This is the end result. The finished result of our bag. This is our final product and it looks very beautiful. The tip of this line, I'm going to weave it back into the bead. Make sure I secure it before I trim it off. Now on the other side, this is how it's looking like. Look at this pretty, beautiful bag. Now we are going to tie, pull your line tight and nice. I'm going to make a loop over here. Make a loop and tie hold your line through it the loop and tie like this you gotta pull tight and nice pull again make a loop and tie i'm going to make it again to make sure it's well secured okay everything is well reinforced like this and the line, I will be back into the bead a little bit before I trim it off or back into the handle. I can will be back into the handle again. So if you have time, weave the line back into the bead before you trim it off. And this is what we have. This is our final product. I thank you for sticking up with me to watch this video. Thank you for your time. I thank you for your, your love and support. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also, turn on your notifications for any new videos that I'll be uploading so you don't miss on it. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.